The Noids Infusion Device is a sexy, compact, all-in-one solution for decarving, extracting, and infusing your herbs. With precise temperature control, it handles the entire process effortlessly in one device. Whether you're making edibles, oils, or tinctures, Noids makes it easy for home cooks to create potent, high-quality infusions to help medicate with confidence, all from the comfort of your kitchen. G'day mates, welcome back to the Friendly Aussie Buds YouTube channel. Today I've got a pretty cool little treat for you guys. Skiba, oh, my mistake. This is my co-host Skiba, he needs to be introduced. He's gonna be cooking up some oil today. So today I've got a pretty cool little uh, unboxing. It is the Noids all-in-one cooking device. Uh, Nathan sent this out to me. This is not a sponsored video, um, but he sent this out to me to review and get my feedback and I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, if you know what an infusion device is, you might be familiar with the magical butter machine. It's where we take some cannabis and some butter, we put them together or some other oil and we make an infusion to be able to put into, you know, edibles, um, treats, savory dishes. But this device is a little different to all the other infusion devices that I've ever seen anyway. This device is an all-in-one kit. So let's open this up. All right, so when we open it, we've got a nice cardboard box, we've got a big user manual. And then we've got this styrofoam herb cooker. All right, now I've got the European plug, um, but when these release in Australia later this month, they will come with an Australian plug. So I'll just be using an adapter today. This is the noids. Oop. So the first thing you'll get is the actual heating unit. Uh, and inside this is your jar. This is what's kind of cool about it. It all sits in the one. And this jar actually has a pretty hectic plunger, um, which I'll have to, oh, there we go. So it has a plunger built into it, into the lid, and then you can actually drain it. So rather than like the coffee press, where you'd like squeeze and then pour. This one allows you to squeeze and kind of pour out this way while you're effectively pushing it through. It also comes with a few other cool little devices. So here they've included a pretty sweet brush so you can keep your things clean. It fits like perfectly actually. And then this thing, it allows you to actually save some of your oil and we'll use this a little later and I'll show you how that works. Then I've got a uh, lid. So this is the lid for the glass jar for when it's cooking. So you can trap the smell in a little more. And then this one, this is actually if you wanna save your alcohol when you're doing an alcohol extract. And we'll get into that a little later. I won't be doing that today, but this is a pretty cool reclaiming device. All right, the build quality, this thing is pretty hefty. And the way you um, choose the temperatures and stuff is all these little symbols. So this does do CBD and THC infusions and it also decarbs in the same process. So you just turn it to set it to what temperature I guess it kind of pre-sits on. This is nice, this glass jar, it feels really good and there's like a heating element and this is how it obviously heats up once it touches that. Um, the plunger feels good. The glass feels and sounds great, actually. Good branding. I like the Noids logo on here. And it can store up to 250 mils in this jar, eight ounces. Everything overall feels really good. And I think the biggest thing I would say is I don't think anyone would question this being on your bench top or like in your kitchen somewhere. So like imagine this was just tucked away in the corner somewhere and you, that's what you use to make your medicine. I don't think anyone would know that it's for cannabis, apart from the fact that it says CBD on this. <laughs> How does this compare to the magical butter machine? 
Well, the fact is this is an all-in-one device where the magical butter machine, you can't decarb in that device, nor can you strain in the device. And I think that's two pretty big factors. The magical butter machine, however, is a much, much bigger chamber. So if you are used to making really big batches of oil, it might be preferred. But um, overall, I actually think I like this a little more. I wouldn't keep a magical butter machine out. It gets stuck in the pantry at the back. I don't wanna know about it. This one, assuming it all works well, uh, the fact that I can strain is really cool. The magical butter machine, they created the coffee press filter, which you can put on a mason jar. That's pretty cool, I like that, but that's an extra cost. And then they, by default, they give you a bag and then you can use gloves and try and, it sucks. I, I really don't like using the magical butter machine's bag. Neither does this guy, do ya? Huh? We now need to decarboxylate our cannabis if we're gonna infuse it. Now, decarbing, traditionally, I do it in the oven. So you put your cannabis ground up in the oven for about 40 minutes at 110 degrees. Now, not all ovens are accurate with the temperature reading and it also makes your house reek of weed. With the noids, you actually just put it in this and set it to the decarb function, which I think is the first. I will check in a moment. But for this extraction, I'm going to use 10 grams of already vaped up cannabis. And I'm also gonna chop up three grams of my medicinal cannabis, the Triangle Octane, 27%. And the reason I like to use the medical cannabis is it allows me to know how many milligrams of THC is actually in the cannabis. So when I see 27%, that means in one gram, there is 270 milligrams. So I'm gonna chop up about three grams, which is about 810 milligrams of THC. My AVB, it's a pretty light brown. Um, it's not the darkest AVB I've ever had. It's a mixture of dark and light. It's probably in the realms of five to 7% THC. For the sake of it, I'm gonna say five. So with 10 grams, with 5% THC, that's 50 milligrams. So collectively, I'm gonna be doing about 850, 60 milligrams for the entire batch of butter. And I'm gonna use 250 grams of butter for my infusion. I'm gonna use my trusty Mighty Roo uh, from Grinder Roo uh, to chop up the Triangle Octane. And this is a stainless steel grinder that is so heavy. It weighs 430 something grams. It's over 420, it's killer. Sharp teeth, it's awesome. I've been using this one for a, quite a while. Yeah, let's get this Triangle Octane out and whew, that's a beautiful flower. Smells good, it's good. And uh, let's chop up. Ah, oh, that's some good shit. Good flower, I'm really... So now we've got our cannabis and our AVB. The AVB doesn't need to be decarbed because it's already been heated. So this is decarbed weed, it's just removed a lot of the THC. It's now on. The decarb setting on this device, so you can see here it's power, and then it's this hexagon. That is the decarb setting. Oh. Let's load this up, I guess, let's start. Let's put our dried up cannabis right in here. Running away from me. So we put our cannabis in here and we wanna just get it nice and even on the bottom, right? And then that just drops into here. And then you have the lid, which you put on the top and that keeps the smell in pretty well. And now we're gonna give it a turn and then we get the line to line up to that hexagon. And now reading the manual, they say this is about a one and a half to three hour experience um, that it can go for. But I guess that depends how much herb you have. All right, so now the Noids device is on and it's got a light little hum, kind of like a little fan. That's just like, but it's now time for us to have a quick little vape break and chill out for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then check on our decarbed cannabis. 
But anyway, until then, here's a vape to see you in a second. Two hours later. All right, so it started beeping and there's this white light, which apparently means it's ready. This device has now decarbed our cannabis. Let's have a look. And it hasn't smelt out the house. I really want to point that out. Oh, yes, okay. It's a nice light brown. It's exactly where you would expect a decarb to be. Beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Nothing's burnt. It's an even color. There's a little bit of light green in some spots, but that was maybe just a rougher chop. But it looks good. Cool. So now to this, I'm gonna add the AVB, which there is oops, quite a lot of. Quite full, actually. Um, about halfway. So it's about halfway, and now we've got to put the butter in or the oil. Up to you if you want to use butter or oil. Um, coconut oil is probably one of your best infusions. Um, I'm a big fan, but butter for what I want to make is going to be perfect. So I need 250 grams, which is about half of this. Now you can clarify your butter. Um, and that's where I would probably put it on a stove, heat it up, melt it, and skim off the white foam. And that gets rid of the milk solids and the butter and gives you clarified butter. But to be honest, I think for this one, I just wanna see how it goes with just straight butter in. All right, I'm gonna just use a spoon to mix this up. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually just chop up this butter into a few bigger chunks <laughs> and then I'm going to just drop it in, I guess. Um, it says max 250 mil. So I put my butter in and I needed to put about two more chunks of butter, maybe 50 grams, and I couldn't fit it. It says max up to the 250 and I've even gone just a little bit over, but I think once this melts, I'll give it a stir and then it will be okay. So I'm gonna pop it in, just slides right in, and then I'm gonna put it on the THC infusion section, which is, oh, it's this one. It's this one that's like a triangle top with like a hexagon bottom. I just put the lid on and we leave that for about two hours, but I'm gonna come back in maybe 15, 20 minutes, just check on it. And I'm gonna give it a stir and then I'm gonna see if I can add a little more butter. If not, I'll just have a little less butter in this and then I'll just mix it up with some fresh butter in the recipe to make sure I've got enough. Cool, thank you, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, uh, so, I've just had a quick look, but I'm gonna have another quick look, obviously. So I wanted to add a little more butter, but because the herb was on the bottom and I couldn't mix it all through, I just couldn't fill it. But now, I have a look and it's melted and I can see that I'm actually under the max line by quite a bit. So I can probably chuck in just another chunk of butter. I'll chuck the other one in as well. I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And you can see down the bottom, hopefully, there's a little bit of white, and that's those milk solids that I was talking about. Um, if you don't clarify your butter, you get that white solid that lives down there, and it's basically cream, uh, and it gets infused as well. I use it uh, if it comes through, so that's no drama. Oh, that tastes so good. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so I've just popped it back on and now I'm just gonna keep the lid on. Now this has a little hum to it. I'm gonna bring the microphone. I'm gonna bring the microphone right up to it so you guys can hear this. 
It's a light hum, but it's pretty polite. It's, it's, quite, it's louder than a computer, but not by too much. I think it goes for about an hour or two and it's just gonna beep and uh, just have a white light when it's ready. And then we're gonna do the extraction process and see how it goes. So the noise device has finished and I've just unplugged it. Uh, but when it finishes, it just has a white light. It beeps a few times, but I didn't hear it again. I was in another room playing some video games. Let's have a look. Whoa. Nice, that looks good. Smells good. All right. So now we need to do the extract. And this is what they provide for the extraction. It's a plunger that actually is built into the device. And then you're gonna push this down while pushing it. So I'm gonna extract it into this bowl. All right, so now I'm just gonna flip it upside down. And there is a filter there. Oh, just wanna make sure that's sealed well. And then you just squeeze it. Excuse me. I like that this is an all-in-one sort of solution. I think with butter, the challenge is because I didn't clarify, those milk solids make it a little thicker and stickier, so it takes a little more to get it through. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna just flip it back over. There's still some there, but what I wanna do, I wanna just get this up, have a quick look. <laughs> That's cool, it leaves a little honeycomb pattern. So on the bottom, there's a nice filter mesh, but that looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna give it a stir, just because I saw that there's some oil that's kind of at the bottom and some on the top, and I just kind of wanna get them almost mixed together with the plant matter and just start squeezing it. That's heaps better. Now there's no air gap. Before there was a bit of an air gap. Oh, <laughs> that's such a rich, thick oil. And I can see right now the color of the oil is very dark, but there's a slightly different color coming through and this is the milk solids. I like this, it feels much more solid than the um, press from Magical Butter where you put it on a mason jar. It's got a bit of a plastic feel, it just, it feels like you're gonna break it. This feels really, really good. So with this, there's still a little bit of oil there and they give you this little device to get it. But how does that work? What they do, they recommend putting in, they recommend putting in a little bit of water. Alrighty, so we've added a little bit of extra water into this and now we're gonna put this on. And thanks to my beautiful partner, I now know how. You get the ball and you move the glass uh, away from the edge a little bit and you use the ball as the joiner. So you just do that. Also, this would work really well if you're putting it into a bottle. Um, so if you're using oil, if you had an oil bottle, when you're tipping this upside down, it can work a little better. Um, because you have a little platform here. So you can basically push it down and use your thumb like a straw to extract and then drop it in. Now, I don't know if I have the patience <laughs> for this. It's an interesting way to get every last drop. Now, what I think is kind of cool about this device is Pretty easy cleanup. Basically, you have the filter um, press, and this just needs to be washed quite thoroughly, and I think you can get these discs out of this silicon ring quite easily. And then you've got this glass, and this is dishwasher safe, I'm pretty sure. So, we're now here with our oil, and we can do a lot with this. We can put this inside of cookies, cakes, Desserts. If you want to make a curry, you could use this to cook the meat in the curry. You could make bread with it, make a focaccia and just infuse it. Well, maybe not with the butter, but you get what I mean. You can basically use it in any way you would use butter or an, another oil. Heaps of things that you can make with this. You can infuse CBD. Um, I don't know, you can make topicals. If you make the FICO, you can make it so you can rub it on yourself and you know it relieves pain You know if you've got sprains or aches and stuff like that. So topicals are another good option. 
How do we feel about this device and how much does it really cost? The Noids Infuser is gonna sit at $480 at retail, but for the next 20 customers, as Noids comes into Australia, it's gonna be at $400, which I think is a bargain. I actually think this is good, good value. The Magical Butter Machine is a little cheaper at like 250. I've also broken a bunch of them, uh, so like whatever, but it doesn't give you the decard box and it doesn't give you the strainer. So something that I think about there is effectively that will cost me if I'm going to get it from Magical Butter for about another 80 to 100 bucks. So it ends up being about 350. And then for $50 more or even $150 more if it's, you don't get in those first 20, I get it in a beautiful all-in-one kit with a nicer glass jar rather than the metal in that little blade, right? And I get the filter, it all sits nicely, it's tucked away. I don't know, I kind of like it all in the one uh, device. I think, I think fundamentally that is a really strong appeal. The old magical butter machine, just huge, bulky, sit in the back of the cupboard. This is gonna come out more often, I, I believe. The alcohol, we didn't even mention that, the ability to reclaim the alcohol when you're doing the extract so when it evaporates, you actually keep it so you can run it again is pretty awesome. So I do have to actually say that's probably worth shitloads because the Magical Butter Machine cannot do that. So that's something that we want to think about is that the FICO that you can create is... Really, it allows you to have a lot of power in how you're gonna put, use your medication. How do I feel about this infuser? I think you guys can feel it already. I like it. I think it's a good device. I think it's clean. It feels sturdy. It's kind of bougie, right? Like, I feel like if you had this out and people saw it, they'd ask you what it is and you'd be like, yeah, that's, that's my infuser. So I don't wanna, it's hard to give a rating. It's like, it does exactly what it promises. It's a 10. Um, is there anything that I think it could do better? I think maybe the only thing I saw was like these seals. I kind of wish they went more around the glass because they come out a little bit. They're only a couple mil. So maybe if they were like just double, they would just sit on a little more because like this is kind of loose. I just, I kind of wish that was on more. That's probably my biggest complaint. I haven't used the alcohol yet, so I can't comment on that just yet. But I would say overall, I'm gonna give it a nine, nine and a half. I think it's a good device. Um, I'm glad it's come to Australia. This is a pretty banging unit. I think, um, yeah, it's cool. So it's now nighttime. Uh, I've been here for a while. I now need to make some cookies. I'm gonna make some white chalk macadamia cookies with this butter. So if you wanna see that, check the next video because I'm gonna do it as a whole separate thing. Uh, until then, stay medicated, stay fab, and stay infused. I'll catch you next time. There we go. Is there anything I missed? No? That's it. Sweet.